It's one of the harp therapy programs in the Northeast, and I started to uh, work in a hospital situation, uh, both teaching other people uh, some skills for their performance, and then also actually doing the work in various clinics for chemotherapy infusion or multiple sclerosis infusion centers and even in hospice situations at the bedside of dying patients. And as I said, I moved up here in 2013, I moved to Rochester, and it seems I, I thought I retired to Rochester, but that apparently didn't happen. And uh, I, this is my eighth annual retirement concert. This is my farewell tour. And so uh, Deb Gear asked me to share some of the information uh, and techniques that I both teach and perform in a hospital called harp therapy situations. And so the first thing that I was taught was something called Dorian improvisation. So based on the Dorian mode, that in the key of C is every note from D up to D. And we're going to focus on that and just play gently and set up a tempo. Two, three, four. And then we play the notes of the Dorian chord. And we try to help the person we're with relax by hearing just a constant pulse from the harp, something very predictable but in a four measure phrase. And those were upper neighbor notes. Now we'll play lower neighbor notes on each of those notes. And of course you can do this in any order you want. We're going to mix and match momentarily. But we want to develop that four measure phrase because it's so predictable and it occurs in so many of the pieces that we would play, folk songs, hymns, opera themes, whatever it may be. And I made a collection of those in a book called Anthology that is widely used around the country. Now I'm going to momentarily, these are chord tones up, just to show you the seven different style, pardon me, styles of playing and how they can be put together. Someone might say, oh, just improvise. Play what you feel. I would have said, I feel like going home. <laughs> I didn't improvise at all. But with this, I learned to. you're relaxed, the person you're playing for, or the room full of people you're playing for, have really come to a moment of quiet, because you're not there to entertain. You're there to help them relax into whatever situation may be at hand, and finally, you can work on playing a tune, for instance, using the chords of only one, four, and five. And this is... So I emphasize in my teaching chord progressions that are so valuable. This is one, six, two, five, and it's truly the heart and soul of <laughs> so much music. 
Then there's another one that I love that is the one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. And it sounds like one, uh, I'm sorry, one, and then four, and then seven, and three, and six, and two, and five, and one. I call that the telephone number, because if you can remember your phone number, you can remember one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. And it's, so we call that the telephone number. And then I utilize all of the same techniques that we had in Dorian improvisation with upper neighbor notes, lower neighbor notes, chord tones up, passing tones down, all of this, and... because we're not there to entertain. We're not playing a million notes. We're just trying to in the key of C. So it's necessary to sometimes modulate to get to a new place and we would do that by playing something on a C chord and then a D7 and using only inversions of chords you can play a one-handed arrangement just with chord inversions in the right hand. open a door, whatever you need to do, so you keep it going by playing both the harmony and the melody in the right hand. Now, we're going to go back to our old pal, Jacob, on his ladder, and then make it a little bigger. We had, from all of our friends playing on the pedal harp, we had the thing called the glissando, and people seem to think that the lever harp can't play glissandos, and that is certainly not true. I wrote an article for the Harp Column magazine called The Common Glissando. Common, not because it's ordinary or who cares, but common because it is the same sound you get from the pedal harp, but on the lever harp. I muffle FBF. I muffle EBE and get the F chord. I muffle Do Mi Do, C E C. And I get a G, 7, 9, 13. And then I go back to the C chord. And I use that in Jacob's Ladder.
and then if you would like you can expand your harmonic vocab pardon me vocabulary from triad harmony to chords that have sixth and ninth Seven nine three thirteen, and even on lever harp. So Thank <laughs> you.